Hey guys, and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. So today we're going to talk about uh, flexible couplings. And when I talk about flexible couplings, uh, we use those to connect piping together when you make repairs. And what I mean by a flexible coupling is something kind of like this. You may have heard it called a Fernco or a um, flexible pipe coupling. Um, got a couple different names. So, and, and most of those are manufacturer. So, what they're used for is putting together drains. A lot of times you'll see them used on uh, PVC pipe. This one here fits inch and a half, and you'll just slide it over the pipe. And then tighten that clamp, and it seals your drain. So it's pretty simple to make a repair. So, what happens when you have an older home that has copper pipe? Maybe something like this, on your tub drain or under your kitchen sink, made of copper. When you go to make a repair with one of these, that goes on and it wobbles all around. And the reason this happens is because Plumbing piping is measured inside diameter from the inside to the inside of the pipe. So this is inch and a half. This is also inch and a half. But they're physically two different sizes. You can see that there. So in order to make that connect, we here at PlumbingParsPro.com, we sell a band that will adapt to it. Now if you notice, this side here is a little bit smaller than this side here. So if you want to cut your old copper line out and all you have is this, this is not going to work, that's going to leak on you. The smaller side or copper side of this band fits over this just nicely. So if you want to cut your old copper line out, this will connect to the old line. Then PVC will run the rest of the way. Now I know this looks a little funny. This is normally how it wouldn't look, but um, this is just an example because you're cutting this off of a remaining section of copper line, for instance under your sink or under your house and this would take the place of it. But you need this adapter to be able to do that. When you get larger piping, two, three, and four inch pipe, it's even worse. So because of the thickness of the pipe. For instance, let me show you this. Some people have something like this under their house. This is an old one that's been pulled out. Three inch copper line, big, that's a T for a closet bend or something like that. This is what you find at your local hardware store or big box store. When you make your connection here, look at that. It just doesn't make that good connection. It's, it's loose. It's going to leak. You're going to have a flood under your house, uh, mold, and all kinds of problems. One of those bands, here it is again, one side's a little smaller than the other. It's an adapter band that goes from copper to plastic and that will fit snugly over the copper pipe and the other side will fit your plastic so it's a really cool item I sell these on the website inch and a half, two, three I may even have four inch, I'm, I'm sure I've got up to three I'll put the link in the description below if you want to purchase these if you have any questions about it Give me an email, info at plumbingpartspro.com. Comment down below and uh, subscribe to our channel. I carry uh, all these odd plumbing items that you can't find at some of your local box stores. We specialize in hard to find plumbing parts, handles, toilet parts, faucet parts, basically anything plumbing. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, comment down below, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. Thanks a lot guys for watching. You have a good day.